guys welcome back i hope all is well i hope everyone's having a great day <sighs> let me catch my breath because this video is taking a lot of my energy to film i'm having to film it in parts it's going to be a long one i'm going to try to make it short as possible i'm going to try to do it in under an hour but i didn't want to have a part one a part two all that business um, but we're going to try to get through it in one part. I'm going to try. We're going to see. Today is a long awaited video. I've had numerous people asking me to do an updated pencil collection. And today is the day. My updated pencil collection as of today. Um, today is May 4th. May 4th. I'm on vacation. Yay. I'm on vacation all week. So yeah, I was supposed to be filming videos all week, but yesterday I did absolutely nothing. Um, yesterday morning I enjoyed just talking to Crystal, Norma and Karen all morning, you know, in like a group chat. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Lovely ladies. Check out those ladies channels. I'm going to list all three of them below. Awesome channels. Everybody offers something different. Please check them out. Love them. Um, we're going to take a look at all of my colored pencils. From the cheapest, or not going to say cheap, from the most budget friendly to the most expensive. We're going to go through all of them. I'm not going to be flipping through every case. I'm just going to show you the pencils because I want to get through in one part. So... I'm going to start because I'm standing here just talking. You know, I could just ramble on for hours. We're going to get started. First, we're going to start off with pencils that are not in cases. I have several sets of pencils that are not in cases. Um, so we're going to look at those first. And then I'll move on to my pencils that are in cases. So let's get started. And if any other collection of mine that you want to see, because I know last year I did a collection thing. Every Friday I showed you a specific collection. If you want to see any updated collection of mine, please drop it in the comments below. Let's get started. This is the Indra Creative Colored Pencils. They also have the Indra Macaroons. We'll get to those. Those are actually in a case. I bought these maybe a month or two ago. I have not put them in a case yet. I actually have a case for them, but I have not put them in a case. But this is the Indra Creative Color Pencils. I need to color with them. You're gonna hear me say a lot, I need to color with them. Cause you guys know I always fall back to my Prismas. All right, next pencil and guys don't talk about me well you can talk about me because i deserve it but i'm going to show you some pencils that are still in plastic that i haven't even opened yet that i bought months ago okay i'm embarrassed i bought these months ago probably the end of 21 as you see they are still in plastic these are watercolor pencils and i had them on my shelf to do a review to see if I like them. And they were still to this day on my bookshelf for me to film a video, a review. I have a bookshelf, one of those tall bookshelves with so many supplies that I need to review. I mean, it's probably 25 videos I need to film, but I, I need to make time. But anyway, this is the Guangwei watercolor pencils and I will do a review. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Don't laugh. All right. Next pencils that are not in case, not in the case is the Hippie Crafter color pencils. We're going to go through these fast, guys. And some of these are missing cuz I'm actually working on a project with these. I like these pencils. I really, really like these. Um, try out Hippie Crafter. These are, I like these pencils. I like them. There's a review on my channel of these pencils as well. So you can check that out. 
All right. What's next? Uh oh, something's gonna fall. Derwent Chromaflow. There is a new 72 set out that I did not buy. But this little 24 set, um, I like these pencils. I plan on buying a 72 set soon. To me, they are a bit pricey. They are a bit pricey. They are about 130 plus tax for a 72 set. But I plan on buying them anyway because I like the pencils and I'm using them on a project that I've been working on for about um, eight months. Yeah, Chromaflow. I like them. All right. Next set, Jane Davenport. Move you down some. This is the Jane Davenport Magic Wand. If I can get them open. Let's see. I have never used them. The colors are absolutely beautiful. However, I did swatch them. Um, beautiful colors. Let me get my swatch book, so. That way you can see. Here we go. Let me get the swatch book. Because I know I. Jane Davenport. This is the Jane Davenport pencil swatch here. So you get some really pretty colors. Um, I like the Jane Davenport uh, pencils. They swatched nice, no problems. I love the way they feel in my hands. They are hard. It is a hard pencil, very hard pencil. Next set is these. I filmed um, a video. I don't even think I uploaded the video. I did not care for these, but they were very bright and vibrant. I don't know. I just didn't really care for them. These are watercolor pencils by Color Block. And I'm a little nasally. Nope, I don't have a cold or anything. It's just sinus. Sinus issues, allergies. All right, next pencil. Next pencil is the Pastel Hues by Ole Ollie. Beautiful color pencils. I have them swatched. Let me find, no, I don't have them swatched. But these are beautiful colors. They're not hard as you think. Not bad. They come in a 24 set. I said I was going to buy them, but I never bought them. These color blends. Let's see if I got them. I think I have those. Nope. I thought I had these swatched, but I don't. Um, I may. I don't know. Um, they're okay. I was not a huge fan of them. I'm thinking maybe I need to go back and use them again and try them again. But this is the Spectrum Noir. This is the pastel set of the color blends. All right. This is, I have to dust it off, y'all. <laughs> this is the Marco Square pencils. The pastels. Love these love them i have used them i like them i recommend these love them all right i did those next i'm gonna mix watercolor pencils in with these so you may go to color pencils to watercolor pencils they will all be mixed in let's go here we go this is a set of watercolor pencils that was sent to me for a review. Um, these are nice pencils, not bad at all. You get a little, you know, a lot of colors. Nice. No, really, really no complaints. This is all the colors. And these are by Racy or 
I-A-N-C-Y. You can always find these on Amazon. All right, what's next? All right. We still have a long way to go to pencils that are not in cases. All right, probably about 15 more sets or more. Gold Faber 12. I like these. I need to use them. I used them once, but I need, really need to use these. I really want to get that larger set because these are decent pencils that I can definitely see myself using. All right, the next two sets, three sets, I'm going to show you at once. These all come from um, Tuesday morning. These are all very inexpensive pencils. These pencils are actually not bad at all. Not bad at all. These are, these I could throw away. I don't like them at all. These, I don't like them. No, these come from Ross. These I don't like at all. But these pencils here are not bad at all for $1.99. Not bad. So if you ever see this brand of pencils, pick those up. These are not bad. All right. More budget friendly. These are so old. Been had these a long time. I got these on a clearance rack um, at Hobby Lobby. This is the um, triangular eco color pencils from Faber Castell. Not bad pencils at all. Not, and I love that triangle feel in my hand. Not bad. <clears throat> all right. These I got from Walmart. One of my favorite places, Walmart. Um, they're okay. They're kind of hard. But will I ever use them again? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a set that I definitely will not throw away. I like the way they feel in my hand. They are, it is a harder pencil. Um, but they're okay. They're okay. And I bought these when I first started coloring y'all and I seen the Joanna Bassford book and it made me buy these. These pencils were not cheap. But because they had that lost ocean on there, you know I bought them, right? Yep. All right, another Faber Castell Eco set was this metallic set. Not a bad set of pencils. Um, will I ever use them again? Absolutely not bad. This was another clearance find at Hobby Lobby for maybe a dollar or two. All right, my next set. <clears throat> Let's see how I'm going to even open these. My next set was a gift from the awesome, wonderful Jennifer. Um, Jennifer suffers from Parkinson's, and her story is absolutely amazing. I'm going to try and link her story below because she goes through her story. Um, I'm going to try and link, remember to link that below. I hope I, if I don't, um, when you see the video, guys, remind me to go back and put Jennifer's story. But she bought me the color tones. Look at these pencils, guys. And they stand up. I'm not even going to try and stand them up. But, yeah. And there's a... If you can see right there, there's a color um, chart with each pencil that's in front. So, I don't have to really swatch these out. Because the, col the color chart is right there. Across from the pencil, you know where the pencil go. And this thing, it stands up. So I will never have to buy a case for these. And you can, your two colors, your light and your dark. I need to use these. And it comes in this case with this magnetic closure. Awesome, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, and these were on my shelf to do a review because she also bought me the Chameleon Markers at the same time. All right. I'm not gonna pause you, I'm just gonna grab some more pencils. Y'all know it's chaos over here. Y'all know that. I'm not even gonna try to uh, fake the folk. Artics. These will never have to go in a case. 
because these are new. These just came out because they are all here. I think that is so cool. They're in this stand-up case. To me, the colors are a lot of muted type colors, but it's good for something, you know. I haven't even tried these yet, but I know I love how fat they are and how they feel in my hand. I know that. And I love the way they smell, but yeah. These are the new Ardix color pencils. It's a 72 set. I will try to link as many of these pencils below as I can. This is the Ardix. Just got these. And then at the end, we'll go through all of my backups. Because I have backups to the backups to the backups. This is the 500 and what, 20 Brute Funners. They're so huge, I can't even put them in the video. I just got these as a birthday gift. And I'm so thankful. Uh, one of my awesome, wonderful friends and subscribers gave me these for my birthday. Oh my God, I couldn't believe it. I came home from work. I'm like, what is that big ass box? I'm like, I didn't order anything from Amazon because you know I'm on my slow buy. So I'm like, I didn't order anything. You know, the only thing that I possibly had coming was a book. And it was these, and I was so surprised. I'm so thankful. Wally, Kaleidoscope win. Thank you so much, my dear. All right, this is the wonderful Durant Metallic Pencils. This is the anniversary set that's in this awesome box. Great pencils. I love these pencils. I never have to buy a case for these pencils. Name and a number. Because they come in this awesome box. There is a review on my channel of these. Alrighty. Now we're going to get to the boxed sets. Let's get to the boxed sets. My first boxed set is the Color A, color, yeah, Color A, five volume set, wood, fire, earth, metal, water. And here we go, water, wood, metal, earth, fire. And let's pull one out. If I can get it out. And they come in these little things, these little boxes. And you have your fire set. They have a name and a number. These are okay pencils. I will definitely use them. And you go on and on and on. You have your yellows, your whites, and blacks, and grays, and greens, blues. Um, yeah. These are like $19.99 on Amazon. I don't have a link below. My next set that I love, love, love is the Marco tribute box set these pencils also come in a 120 but the 120 do not come in this box to set um, i like this master's collection because it come in the, the set very easy to pull out i'm gonna pull the monet of course this is the monet set and it gives you all of the colors it tells you a little bit about claude monet and name and a number these are beautiful beautiful pencils i love these pencils i have swatched them out but yeah you get some beautiful colors magnetic closing uh box awesome you get six is it six no you get eight different boxes of pencils so awesome love it and you could just sit it like this on your bookshelf or wherever you put your pencils love those all right my next box set and i'm embarrassed again because i have never swatched them y'all i really don't even think did i even open these i took the plastic off and looked in them but other than that I really haven't even opened these pencils. 
I got these for Christmas. This is the Phoenix Color Pencils. Another box set. Let's take this red out. And these are beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. Um, look how beautiful the box is. Awesome. And look at the pencil. The pencils are absolutely stunning. Um, unfortunately, I never... And each pencil looks different. Um, I should have took out a different color so you can really see all that gold foil on the pencils. I've never tried them. I'm just going to be honest. I bought them and they were on my bookshelf to review and it never happened. I got these back in December for Christmas. And that's where they've been since December. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. Um, but yeah, this is the Phoenix Color, um, pencils, the box set. All right, these pencils that I'm about to show you in the cases are in no particular order. This is Ink Tents, Derwent Ink Tents. I'm just going to flip through them really fast. So that's my ink tents. And I'm not going to unzip all these zippers on these cases, guys. I'll just do maybe two. This is Parrot Tropical Colored Pencils. And I did a review on these. These are nice pencils. Um, <clears throat> very affordable. Um, and they come in like a square, like triangle, like box. Really, really cool. Um, so you really don't need a case for them because the case they come in is really cool. But I did a review on these, but I like these pencils. They deserve the case, so I got a case for them. My next pencils are, I'm just going to unzip two, um, or Castle Arts. And... This is, as you can see, this is a small case, and I got two and three pencils in one slot because the Castle Arts don't really fit in this small case, um, but yeah, some in the back have pencils just laying here and here, yeah, because I made them fit in this case. So that's my Castle Arts. That's the original Castle Arts. What's next? Derwent Lightfast. Let me get them unzipped. I know I could be a lot more. Um, I can't even get the zipper out. Oh, crap. Okay, I can't even unzip the second thing. Which, oh, here we go. But this is Derwent Lightfast pencils. These are awesome pencils. We all love them. They are pretty pricey, but yeah. These are Derwent Lightfast. My next is Square Root Funner. I'm just gonna open up one side. We all have these. We Most of us love them. They were a learning curve for me, but I have learned to love these. I know Maureen just bought a new set of square brook funners. All right, this is, and I have these little tags I bought from Walmart and a Dollar Tree um, with, that's telling me what's in the case. This is my Tritones. Really cool pencils, love them. Need to use them more. And this is this little 24 case from Color It that I love, that I bought several because I love these little small cases. Because I only like one set of pencils in a case. I don't like to put several different brands in one case. That's just me. Everybody's different, but it's not my thing. This next case is SF Pencils. 
whatever, you know, these. I'm going to hold it up. I'm not going to pronounce it and mispronounce it. These. Shafir Farben. Whatever. Love these. I love, love, love these pencils. These are awesome pencils. Um, I use them a lot, a lot, a lot. I really need to get a bag up to these, but I love these pencils. Yeah, and we're just going to open up one row because I just looked over and realized how many um, more shelves we have. Three more shelves plus all of these. These are the Pastel Tint Castle Arts. These are fairly new. Love them. I'm actually using these. Is it these I'm using on the project? No, I'm using the Brute Fire Macaroons on the project. So those are the um, Pastel Tints. What's next? These are the Anna Velocity watercolor pencils. Hey, my God. My favorite watercolor pencils. And I was so blessed and lucky Crystal didn't like them. And she sent me her set that were, she had only swatched them out. Didn't even really use them. So I have a backup. I'm so excited. But these are the Anna Velocity watercolor pencils. Um, these pencils will probably never come out again. So if anybody's ever selling these and if you can get your hands on a set of these, honey, I recommend it. And if they're selling them and you don't want them, just let me know. I'll buy them. Because <laughs> I love them. Love them, love them. Now I can use them like I want to use them because I have a backup set. And these are the infamous Pastelo pencils. I have given away probably 30 sets of these pencils on my channel. I like them. They were a hot item last year. Pastel. Yeah. They were a hot item last year. What's next? What are these? Color Soft. This is the Color Soft set. I love the Color Soft. This little set here, you notice these pencils are some dupes over here because this is the skin set that's actually on sale on Amazon. I will put a link below to that skin set if it's still on sale for like $11. Cheap, cheap. But this is the skin set right here. This was a freebie. But these uh, six here is the skin tone set. And this is just the rest of the pencils. So I do have like six or seven dupes. This color song. And then this little B case. I love this little B case. It's my Amazon Basics. I love these Amazon Basics. Um, close to a Prisma. Not a Prisma, but with a little bit of work. You can work these almost like a Prisma. I love these Amazon Basics. They were a gift from Maureen. It has a purple that I'm almost out of because I was out of that purple for the Prisma. And then I was gifted a set of Prismas for my birthday. Thank God. So blessed. The next are the Ram Refine. These are the original Ram Refine pencils. You know, they came out. I bought these. These were last year. You know, they came out with that new big set. I think I do. I have those. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the cases, to the larger cases at the bottom. But this is the small set of the Ram Refines. I love these pencils. They work nice, really easy to blend. And this was the smaller set that was only available when they came first came out last year. And next, we have in this little color it case. I told you guys, I have a lot of these little small color it case. This is the Black Widow dark skin and light skin sets. Um, I didn't want to put my skin tones in with all the other um, Black Widow sets. So I put my skin tones in this case because I didn't want to go through and pick through 
300 pencils because you know they keep adding pencils to find my skin tone so i put my skin tones in one little case and i love it all right in this beautiful case it is mark arts i love the mark arts is it the 120? Yeah, this is the new 120 in the Mark Arts. I have um, a smaller set. I don't know if I add them to this or not. I don't know, but I know this is the Mark Art 120 in this case. I love these pencils. I think, did we just go over the Mark Arts? No, that was the Ram Refine. Yeah, that was the Ram Refine. All right, my next pencil is the Indra. Pastel colored pencils. And this is the Indra set. I know it's missing. I only put purples here, blues here, greens here. Yeah, that's how I put them in the case. It's a bigger case than the, you know, you don't you only get so many of those pencils <clears throat> in a case. What's next? What's in here? Um, Marco Chroma Manga Pastel 24. Another case that I like. And these are the Marco Chroma Manga Pastels. Guys, a lot of these pencils, you can go on my playlist and you will see a review of them. Okay. Polychromos, we all have them. We all love them. Um, I need to, as you can see, they are used. I have used them. I do use them. I just need to get better acquainted with my polychromos. Yeah. I don't use them like I should. When I first got them, I used them a lot. All right, what's next? Star Joy. This is the original Star Joy, which I love. I love these pencils. These are the original. As you can see, I do use them. It's a 120. Heavy pencils. This case is so heavy. All right, what's next? Draw it, graph a tint, and I have them in this case that I got on clearance for like $5, $4 on Amazon. But this is the Derwent Graphitin pencils. I love these, love them, love them, love them. See, I have room for more pencils, but I may put the Derwent drawing here because I want those. I'll put the Derwent drawing here. Even though I don't like to add, you know, more than one set of pencils, to a case, but I would put the drawing there. All right, we are looking at the Sue Color 180. Nice pencils. I use them often because they blend well and they just work for me. And this is a huge case. But now we're getting into all of my flower cases. I think all but one is the flower case for the next. 15 sets are all flower cases. I love these flower cases. This is Arteza watercolor. These are Arteza watercolor pencils. is a big set. What is it? Holbein's. It's a huge case. And I have some missing out of here because I'm actually working on the project with these Holbein's. Yeah. Yeah, this is Holbein's. I'm going to open them up. I know you guys want to see all of these, right? A big case. I think it's like five or six zippers. These are all duplicates. These are duplicates. And then you have your neons. 
and you start with your pastels more pastels your pastels and your metallics your black gray and white continue with your primary colors we have another zipper this case has so many zippers yeah it's a lot of pencils i think they are most the most beautiful pencils a lot of people don't like them. I'm not going to say a lot of people, but there are several people that don't like these. But once you learn how to use these, these are awesome pencils. When I first got them, I didn't like them. And I was like, okay, I'm going to keep using these pencils because I've learned over the years. If you keep using a pencil and you make yourself familiar with that pencil, you just may like the pencil. So this is luminous. Let's see. This is a really big case for these pencils. This is the luminous. Karen Dosh Luminous. Very pricey pencils, but I love them. Yep. another flower case i love those flower cases what are these artiza experts y'all know i love artiza pieces and you know some's gonna be missing because they are right here because i'm working on a project So these are my Arteza experts, and I have how many backups? One, two, three, four, four backups of this this particular um, pencil. Yep, because I like them. And then um, Arteza made some mistakes and had to send me um, pencils to replace, and. Yeah, it's a long story, but I got a couple of sets free. At least two sets free. All right, this is the beloved, my whole time favorite. I hate this big case, but... And when I buy a case, I'll make sure I send this to Kelly because she loved this case. Um, Prismas. Of course, I'm working on something with them. I'm always working on something with my Prismas. Um, this is the watercolor pencils. This is just two little nubbies. And on the back is the Verithins. So this is all your Prismas here. This is the 150 set, the watercolor pencils. And the largest set of Verithins. And this is just an extra violet. And then I have another little... Um, box of extra Prismas. And this is this little box that I keep handy near my desk. This is all Prismas, extra Prismas. In this box. And then I was gifted a new set of Prismas. Um, just last week for my birthday so blessed um to receive those i was so shocked um yeah i was shocked i think i had a tear okay okay i did have a tear <laughs> i did have a tear and i dropped them y'all sorry for the noise but y'all know it's chaos over here ain't nothing all fancy and schmancy and put together but this is the Hobein First Cousin, the Brute Funner colored pencil. They look just like Hobein's. I love these. Um, I'm going to be real. They almost work better than Hobein's. Yeah, I said it. But this is the rest of them because I'm working on the project with them. But yeah. As far as like blending 
And it could be that I'm used to working with Holbein's because they are so much like the Holbein's, but I don't know. I'm in love with these. I'm working on a picture with them. That's the 50 Brute Finer Macaroons. Okay, this is the Cooler 240. This is a massive case because all 240 fit in this case. But I like the pencils, nice pencils. Cooler 240, huge heavy case. In one case that was not flowered that stuck in here, it's the Fila 152. You guys know I love the Fila. This is the Fila 152. Guys, we only have a few more to get through. We're almost done. Told you it wouldn't take long. All right, what is this? Neon and Pastel Brute Funner. This is the Brute Funner 180 set. I mean, 80 set Brute Funner. Yep, that's the Brute Funner 80. With the neon and the pastels over on this side yeah nice pencils all right a couple more to go this big mama it's a huge case i think it has five zippers this is all of my crayola pencils i'm gonna open up all of them because this is everything crayola in one case We'll go through them. This is the Crayola set. I think this is a 300 and something slot case, I think. You have all your Crayolas. Then you have the Crayola skin tones. You have your Crayola signatures. And then you have your Crayola twistables. And then there's still more room. So this is all the this is the full set of Crayola colored pencils. I know there's that um, set that's like the tritones. I don't have those, but this is all of my Crayolas in one case. All right, what's next? This beautiful case was gifted to me by the lovely Barbara, Barbara Morgan. Barbara, thank you so much. This is my favorite case and it came in handy because when she bought me this case, the new Black Widows were coming out. So let's open it up. And I have all the Black Widows, y'all. But this is all the Black Widows. And you see they're all mixed, but the new set is, um, this is the, all the other set. I think the new set is back here and they're all together by themselves. I thought, or did I put them? What's the name of the new set? Dragon. No, I did put them in order. Oh, I'm proud of myself. Look, there's the dragons. So I did put them all in order together. So proud. See, some of them I missed. So you may have two pencils <laughs> in one slot. I was not moving these pencils, you know, mm -mm. nope. Just put two in one slot. But this is the whole set of the Black Widows. Minus the skin set, and, you know, I have those separate. Last, but definitely not least, is the Store Joy Gold. And this is the full set. Well, all of my pencils are the full sets. Um, this is the Star Joy Gold. I love these pencils. They're, I don't know, I just, I love them. I love them, love them, love them. Highly recommend them. Get you a set. 
All right, guys. I was going to show you all my overstock pencil sets, but we're not going to go there. But yeah, this is my pencil collection as of today. Hopefully, I haven't missed a set. I probably have missed a set. If you want to see any of my collections updated, because it's been right at a year since I've did updated collections, just let me know what you want to see, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try and link these pencils below, but this is a lot of pencils. We'll see. Hmm. But if you just need a link to something, let me know and I'll drop a link for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.